global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, good people. Welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. Still talking about the issue of Abuja Kaduna train um, attack, which took place some two days ago, carried out by mostly Fulani, um, called them terrorists, and you wouldn't be wrong, or Fulani bandits. The Minister of Transportation, Rotomi Amici, has made a statement in respect to that. Nigerians have been blaming the federal government and also the Ministry of Transportation for not putting relevant equipment on ground to see to the prevention of occurrence of stuff like that. Equipments like um, sensors and all of that. Now, Amechi have this to say as he puts all the blame on the federal government and the bureaucracy of approval. We're going to be looking at the full details of the news in the G feed. But before we do that, if you're not subscribed, do well to hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, the Minister of Transportation, Rotomi Amechi, has said that Monday's attack on the Abuja Kaduna Rail Road route would have been averted if there were drones and helicopters to carry out surveillance along the corridor. This is even as the minister said that the Ministry of Transportation has made presentation to the federal government for the procurement of security equipment, regretting, however, that the ministry was yet to get approval. A major stated these on Tuesday while leading top officials of the ministry on an inspection of the scene of the incident. Addressing newsmen, a visibly worried Amechi said, We need helicopters and drones. We are thinking about the possibility of employing natives until we get the equipment. We have not been able to install security sensors because the procurement process is a bit difficult. It is typical of Nigerians. The process is tedious. The approval is also tedious. We have not been able to get the approval that will lead to the purchase of those items. If those items were here, drones alone would tell you that there are people around the real tracks. They are equipment that pick sensors if you touch the track. But unfortunately, the process has not been able to get us that approval for us to import those things. The cameras in the train cannot pick what is happening outside. What you need is a camera that shows 100 meters away from the train. We have drones all we have done all we need to do in the Ministry of Transportation and we have forwarded it to them for approval, but we have not gotten approval. The equipment we lost will cost about 3 billion naira and we are about to place order for the ones in Lagos. Amechi warned of the dangers to come if security devices were not urgently procured to save lives on rail routes across the country. Even if they get us approval, it would take some months to acquire them from overseas to install them. We need to do that to enable us see from Kaduna, Abuja, Itakbe, Wari, and from Lagos, Ibadan what is going on so that we don't continue to lose lives because lives are important. If we have gotten the approval, we would have saved the 3 billion naira and saved lives. While affirming the date of it, persons as a result of the attack of Michi said it is difficult to tell the number of missing persons saying we don't have all the figures of missing person kidnapped and those injured at the moment the number we have is that there are eight casualties there are 25 persons in the hospital and the total number of persons are 398 so we have to wait. The security agency, the Kaduna state government, and the Nigerian real wake operation are all trying to make contact with those on the manifest. There are few persons who are not on the manifest, like the staff of the NRC, staff of the cleaning contractor. They are not on the manifest, and we may not be able to completely account for them. But for those on the manifest, calls are being made to reach them. Coming short of asking citizens to understand the situation, the minister added, I am devastated and I honestly don't know what to tell Nigerians anymore. 
also speaking with the managing director of Nigerian Railway Corporation, Engineer Fidel Ohiri, has said, It is very sad and fortunate situation we have at our hands. Right from time when these things started happening on the roads, the only succor our people had were the trains. We urge the people to help the NRC identify criminals bent on wreaking havoc on innocent Nigeria until rail transportation system as their preferred mode of transportation. NRC suspend oppression immediately. Hmm. Now, these are some of the things that we that have been causing a lot of trouble in the country. Now, the reason why we have to run away from the roads was because of the refusal of the authorities to do what they are supposed to do. Understand? Refusal. People are pushing to ensure that uh, the roads are well fixed. But before you know, you are staying one, two, three, four. And uh, being that the financial or let me say the economic situation is not really good enough for the people, the so-called bandits have to go stay in those kind of areas to commit all manner of havoc. We need to stop all of this because that is the only way out. I don't know whether this thing is politically motivated or otherwise, but then we need to fill in the gaps. Imagine what the minister had said that they have done, they are the needful asking, requesting for the procurement of those key equipment that will help in the security of, you know, the train. But hey, bureaucracy, you know, lateness in approval and all of that has caused Nigerians to lose very good quality people, lives on a daily basis. Seems to be a thing that people play along with. And that is why we are in the situation we have seen ourselves. It's, I mean, really heartbreaking. I'm telling you, to hearing this kind of thing. Now, if we have spent so much to install the rail and also buy the trains and all of that, wisdom demands that uh, all the necessary security details that will help to protect both the rail and also the um, train would have been put in place long before now. It would have even been part of the procurement. But now, just imagine what is going on. These bandits, or some people call them Fulani terrorists, they are playing us eco. So they are just joking around with Nigerians as if we don't even have any technology at our, at, at, at our you know, uh, at our bacon call. It's really bad. Now, what does it take to even pay security people to take care of those things or possibly put, I mean, apart from drones alone, you can put security cameras there like it is done in other places. We've been talking about the security cameras for a while, even on our roads. It normally should be a normal thing to have them all over our roads, but nobody is doing this thing. Every day we keep on worsening, you know, the security architecture of Nigeria, weakening it more and more because the more you expose the security people, the more that they are susceptible to all manner of attack and their weaknesses are very visible. I mean, ever since the issue of uh, the academy happened, that's the army academy happened, Nigerians are tend to lose faith, you know, in everything in this country. We need to wake up, we need to correct these things. And I feel that speedily the approval should be granted so that something, a repeat of this will not occur again. That's where we would like to leave it. Good talk.